Okay? And we need to find out what a combination of this vector is in three space. They've told us that vector A is equal to negative i plus 2j plus k. Okay. So if we were to write the components of this vector, it would be negative 1, 2, and 1. And we know that that is some vector, and I'm just going to quickly estimate it at negative 1, 2, and 1, something like that, okay, when we go out into 3 space. I know it's hard to see without the box, but that's essentially the idea of where this vector is. But we're not only doing that, we're doing a combination of this vector, okay? This is going to be combined with another vector. So this is vector A in 3 space. Vector B is another combination that is 2J. Because remember, these are combinations of unit vectors. 2J minus 3K. So this is a vector that actually has a value of 0 on the x-axis. It goes 2 on the y and down 3. Okay? So this one actually looks like a... There's vector b in 3 space. And finally, uh, they've given us vector c. Vector c is i minus 3j plus 2k. So i over 1 minus 3, 1, 2, 3, we go back and up 2. Something like that. So this is vector C. But what they've now asked us is to combine these. Okay? So we're going to make a combination of this vector. I'm going to do this the using standard form first, and then we're going to use it using component form. Okay? Essentially what this question asks us, they've now asked us to solve the following. A, please solve 2 vector A minus B plus C. So we're adding and subtracting vectors, but each of these vectors is made up of unit vectors. Okay? So instead of actually trying to move the vectors on a graph and figuring out what they look like in 3 space, we're going to use their values to help us figure out where the new position vector will be, or the new combination of this vector will be. Okay? So instead of, like I said, moving it around, I'm going to substitute in, well, I know that 2. We know that 2a, okay? 2 times a is a value of negative i plus 2j plus k. Okay. Minus b is a value of 2j minus 3k. And we're adding c. c is i minus 3j. i minus 3j plus 2k. Okay. We'll write those vector arrows on above at the end. So we've got to find out what this combines into. And we're going to do that using this form. So we, pull, we move our scalar into all three, distributive property, the negative into two, and then in this one it doesn't really change anything. So we get negative 2i plus 4j plus 2k minus 2j plus 3k plus i minus 3j plus 2k. So what's happened is we're combining three, well, almost three for each of them, types of unit vectors together to see what each of them will be on their respective planes. i is the plane of the x-axis, so we're going to combine all of our i's, our unit vectors, along the x-axis. And in this case, there's only two. So in this case, this becomes just vector i. Negative 2 plus 1 is positive 1. And our next one, this is along our y-axis, where we have three different types of unit vectors. So we're going to combine them all, because remember, these would all be parallel. These would all be parallel unit vectors, and we're going to combine them to see where they reach. So 4 minus 2 is 2, minus 3 is negative, so negative j. And finally, k, along the z-axis, all of these would be parallel unit vectors. 2k plus 3k is 5, plus another 2 is 7, so 7k. So our component, oh yes, it's negative i. So our component vector here, instead of actually physically moving them and trying to determine what that looks like, 
We took all of them in standard form, okay, our vector unit standard form, and we just combined all of our like terms applying the scalar. Okay? We could have also done this in component form. And in component form, we'll write the exact same question. Question said 2a minus vector b plus vector c. And now in component form, a was the equivalent of what? Anyone know how to write that in component form? Negative 1, 2 and 1, good. Vector b would be 0, 2, negative 3, good. The 0 I thought might get you guys. And vector, is it c? Yeah, vector c would be what? Good. So these are the components of it. We can use this also to solve it. We're just choosing a strategy along here. So, 2a, well, we have a scalar of negative 1, 2, and 1. And we're subtracting 0, 2, negative 3. And then we're adding 1, negative 3, and 2. Well, in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using our scalars to go across this, okay? So, we're going to distribute again the negative as well. So we now have negative 2, 4, 2, plus 0, negative 2, positive 3, plus 1, negative 3, and 2. And then when we're in component form, we're just going to add up each of the uh, respective components. So these are all of our x values, so we're going to put them together. Negative 2 plus 0 plus 1. These are all of our y values, which is 4 minus 2, oops, minus 3, comma supposed to be over here. And finally, 2 plus 3 plus 2. Okay, and that's solving this with component form. We'll end up with the exact same idea, negative 1, negative 1, and 7. So if you notice, it didn't matter which way we chose to solve this we ended up at the same answer, whether we used our standard form or our component form in this question.